All right, this is a series of uh, reviews on Zoltanus' newsletter. Oh, dear, it's on to get right out there, girls. I apologize for not having a shirt on. Uh, it's very hot here, very humid. Um, I apologize. Um, one thing I uh, decided to pick on one of his articles was this theory, the theory where he talks about the um, theory of mind and um, theory of consciousness. One of his um, things where he talks about Vladimir Lenin and talks about his um, his idea of materialism and materialism uh, he constituted, these were still ideas and the ideas that he propagated to other minds and the other minds were the ones that propagated the ideas that, you know, communism was true and uh, true and, and legitimate and his entire, uh, a lot of things to talk about is the liberal conception of mind. Whereas a liberal, <clears throat> excuse me, would be able to make their conception of what they feel they are. Whereas, you know, because it comes back to feelings. There's something I wanted to remark is that one of the great thinkers of the Enlightenment, David Hume, talked about um, things of moral sentiments being emotions, like boom, hurrah, the boom, hurrah theory, which, you know, is probably the, the zenith of all liberal thought, whether he stood for conservative ideals or not. Um, his idea was that everything that you believed in or you felt that was right or wrong was based on the fact of how you felt instead of how you, um, instead of the brutal realities of the situation. And his entire belief that feelings were important to ethics in the in his concept in his philosophical systematic belief uh, ideology. He believed that you know as far as like you see like transgenders who believe that if I just become my ideal self, what I feel inside, what I what I internalize inside, I can become myself. Now, likewise. Traditionalists would do things like basically become a something of a higher, um, a higher self, a higher being, a higher, um, conception of the self, where they place themselves on a plateau and try to esteem for higher ideals like you know kinship and um and such things such as um hold on a second <laughs> i'm going on a whim here uh his ideal the ideals of basically kinship and uh loyalty to one's race and everything like that and that's where the ideas of the liberal idea of mind comes from everything was about going against nature and obviously you had people like Rousseau and such that basically believed that you know man was a a noble savage in the state of nature and man was a was corrupted by society that must return to primal instincts and stuff like that this whole entire thing like Rousseau, Hume and all these other thinkers believed in like things about feelings and returning to the primal instinct of things um However, you also had traditionalists that believed in trying to uphold immoral virtues and things like that. Um, what he's mostly coming across with is the idea of Giovanni Gentile. I already talked about the big bad fascists and everything like that. And I do agree with some of Giovanni Gentile's political views, but he was also an underrated uh, philosopher of mind who believed in the... Um, the propagation of ideas and the, the mental self, the 
the consciousness, the collective consciousness, which you know Emilio Durkheim talked about in a couple of his essays uh, he wrote. Um, Yeah, I'm looking here, and it's a lot of stuff relating to a lot of the um, liberals who also use the self above others thing, the egoistic self master. I, I mentioned this in the past. The atheist morals generally are about um, what can I do to please me? And if you bring this up to any sort of atheist, anti-theist or something, they will screech autistically about it. Because they don't want to realize there's a higher purpose in life, that there's a higher higher um a higher mantle to reach. They believe like whatever makes me feel good is what makes me feel good. And that's all that should matter. And one of the many things that Basically, when you talk about the, I, the idea of mind, is that these people feel, it's all about feelings, remember that, and people like David Hume, Rousseau, and all this thing were about instinctual feelings, you know, self-centered egoism, that, you know, reaches apex after uh, Hegel with uh, Max Stirner, this whole entire um, satisfying the self kind of thing, which is the be-all, end-all of this, you know, train of uh, philo a history of philosophy that stretches back from Rousseau and John Locke all the way up in Hume and then into Paine and all those other thinkers into basically, you know, then the Hegelian synthesis, you know, type stuff went on and then you birth things like Stirner. Who believe that basically whatever makes me feel happy and makes me feel content with myself is why I should either change to become or basically whatever makes me happy in myself, I should do or I should act upon because that's what's important. It's not a answer to a higher calling like God, Jesus, what have you. It's answering to the self, the primal desires, the inner self, the whole entire, like, mm, I gotta feel good, I gotta make myself feel good, I gotta, it's a sort of form of moral masturbation, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, that's basically what it is, and a lot of people, um, this is kind of a false self-conscious, and then you had also Lenin, who believed that, you know, came after, um, Hegel and Marx and all those people who believe that everything of history was materially constructed. Not only these two kinds of false consciousness, feeling good, making yourself feel good, or everything is just collective struggles, are a false dichotomy that basically both must be overcome. That not only do people like to own shit and people like to have things to be able to do and have freedom, but people should also be concerned with their collective, with their collectives, you know, their collective ethnos, excuse me, their collective ethnos and their people as well. This kind of like, you know, benefiting oneself is benefiting other people and helping each other out. And this is something that I'm also on a, um, a book right now called on the basis of morality by Arthur Schopenhauer and Schopenhauer kind of is in the cent center of moral area which you know a lot of people don't give him credit for and he believes that you know benefiting the self also means being compassionate towards others compassionate towards animals and compassionate towards your own people which will benefit you because you will not only feel the compassion of others and do those for other people, and they will do it in turn, and this compassionate sort of um, empathy for other people is often found in a lot of those things. I guess a lot of people will say that Gentile did take a lot of his ontology from Arthur Schopenhauer, so I'm be accused of that, of such things, but I'm not sure. 
Um, Hartman was a similar one. Hartman was a similar one who decided to synthesize Hegel and Schopenhauer. And the idea of the conception of the mind and consciousness. And I believe that this kind of metal way is what I guess Solness is advocating for. This sort of like your individuality is important, but at the same time, you should try to help out your fellow man, help out your fellow people, your kinship, your ethnos, your people that you help out. And helping those, having that kind of middle ground, helping them out will benefit you in the long run. Instead of thinking about like, what makes me feel good or everything's material and we have to, it's all a bunch of class struggle and all this other nonsense. Neither either or is true. And that sweet spot in the center <clears throat> where there's not only a freedom of the individual, but there's also a freedom of the, uh, the, 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 the protection of the collectorate, excuse me. And those kind of like feet, you know, type of philosophies of mind where you feel compassionate towards your people, which will benefit you as an individual and a group of people that may protect you as a kinship. I think I've made my, my, uh, review of this article very clear i'll link it in the uh in the description um maybe double it in the comment section in case anyone wants to see it um this is my general um overview of it i, I skimmed over it a little bit because it's a very long article on like the stuff that i write um anyways um hope you check it later remember just like and subscribe i'll check uh i will see you soon and i'll be your same i'll check you later bye peace